Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie from LG Art Designs um, and I am going to do a painting uh, with a metallic base. I have been doing this a little bit lately and I'm really loving the results. Um, so playing around with it with different colours and I'm going to do a uh, similar to one that I've done before um, as far as the base goes but t using completely different colours on top. So I'll talk you through the colours. Um, so this is my base and as you can see it's this beautiful metallic uh, I made it with uh, silver and bronze and I added a little bit of purple um, just to make it a little bit more on the chocolate side. <laughs> uh, it's very yummy, very yummy looking. Uh, so it's going to be the base. And then I am going to be using white. Uh, these, some of these colours, oh, look I know I say this a lot but I did make these quite some time ago. So this is a bit of a turquoise green colour, uh, all made from global paints um, and I just adjust it to create different uh, tones of green. So that's that one. This one is really just green and metallic um, pearl. Uh, this one is again a bit of green, a bit of white, uh, a bit of turquoise, that sort of thing. Sorry I can't give you exact colours because it was just so long ago I made them. Um, an easy one here. This is Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow. Uh, this is Global Green Predominantly Sea, Glass Sea. I always get that one wrong. I think it's Glass Sea um, and it is, yeah, it is on its own. Might have a little bit more green added to it. Um, and this is an easy one. This is Pebio Green Blue and I've got my Pearl Metallic and Pebio Iridescent Gold. So they're my colours, um, my top colours and if I've got any of them wrong and I discover that I've got them wrong, I'll put it in the description. In fact, it'll all be in the description. Okay, I should just mention that the canvas size is 40 by 50. And it also comes with a frame, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like all framed up and we'll see that at the end result.
purposes it's actually better for me oops, to start from this side because you can see better but just see how we go That's it. I'm just going to go to the other side of the table just to blow that out without getting my whole body in there. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. I'll give it a torch and then I'll show you for Oaksha. Now I'll do the torch now and then you can see what happens and hopefully something does happen. did end up probably putting too much paint because it has overcrowded the canvas a bit but I'm used to doing these on bigger canvases so you always end up doing that but it's so pretty all right let's take you in for a close-up okay I just love this sometimes it really surprises me I genuinely am surprised uh, that base is just gorgeous with this green 
take a little bit closer you just see the absolute beauty of these colors check it out of course there's not going to be any shortage of glitter in it um it is so pretty Oh, <laughs> it is so yummy. All right, um, let's hope this dries beautifully and we will see you at the end. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so here's the end result. Um, and I've got a just a simple pine um, border around it or um, frame. And I think it's just turned out really lovely. I love that little splash of the um, magenta and metallic black. And the golds just come in really nice as well. You can still see the swirls of metallic behind. Oh, I don't mind that. Um, I love some of this uh, Pebia iridescent green blue. It actually, it looks like it could be blue green. Might need to check the bottle and I'll put it in the description if I've messed them up. I always mix them up. I don't know why. Um, lots of green. Oh, I just love it. I really do love it. So that's it. Look how shiny the base is. It does look a little bit like a rose gold, doesn't it? Uh, but a very pale rose gold. So that's it. I love it. Leave me a comment, subscribe and press that like button and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.